I decided to go to treatment because, like I said, um, it's, you know, I was just making wrong decisions, you know, and I was very depressed. And when I was depressed, I would just turn to drinking, you know, and then when I would drink, you know, bad things would just continue to happen because I wasn't reacting the way I should. You know, I wasn't clear-minded. I was thinking, you know, you know, how could I get the better of this situation, you know, and then that's not, that, that wasn't being the better for myself, you know, it just kept making every situation worse and worse and worse. Um, Mike definitely pushed me to get healthy, you know, just, just him being around was definitely an inspiration, you know, that's, we, call him, we don't call him the situation, we call him the inspiration now, because just, you know, when you are when you were the way I was, like, just depressed and always just angry and resentful and just, you know, regretful it was a big thing. You just want, you look at him and you're like, I want that. I want to be positive, you know, and it's like, a lot of things in my life were just always like this, and I just always looked at the worst, you know, and it was just like, oh my God, like this is what's wrong, and that's what's wrong, instead of looking at the positive things in life, which everything in life has so many more positive than negative. Um, my state of mind when I went in, I was just very depressed, you know, um, just very angry, uh, resentful to myself about a lot of things that I've done over the, over the last year, or even years, you know, you look back to all the things I have done, you know, um, it wasn't really, you know, I'm not really proud of a lot of stuff. I'm proud of stuff, but I'm not proud of a lot of stuff. And I was definitely in a place where I just didn't know how to control my life anymore. You know, my life became unmanageable, they say, and that's what it was. You know, it was, it was unmanageably manageable. Um, my day-to-day -day life was, um, and the treatment was, it was great. You know, we'd wake up, breakfast, and they would just have a crazy schedule from us. Like, I would, I would go from 8 to 8 p.m. Like, you know, from 8 in the morning to 8 p.m. And that's what you have to have is routine and structure. That's what they basically teach you is without structure and routine, it's the worst thing because boredom is the number. Boredom and stress are the two biggest things that will turn you to, to turn to anything to basically numb yourself, you know? And it's like, and that's what I was. I was, I was bored, you know? I was still working, filming Jersey Shore, but then that downtime, it's like, you know, I'm bored. I would wake up and I'd be like, well, what am I doing today? Instead of being like, I'm going to do this, 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 and this take a little break and then continue to do this, this, and this. And that's really what I lacked with structure and routine. I got to see Ariana. That was really great because I feel like uh, after like two weeks, I kind of got, I hit a wall, you know? I still wanted to be there, but I was just caught myself drifting, you know, you know, when we were doing stuff. And then when she came out, it was like, all right, well, this is what I'm doing. You know, this is why I'm doing this. This is why I made this decision. Because you're in there and like, it, like this is a disease that it pops in and out. It comes in and out and you're sitting there and you're like, wow, like maybe I didn't need to do this now. Maybe I could have waited another 10 years. And then I saw my daughter and I was just like, no, but this is something that I need to do now before she grows up and she's like, you know, where's dad? You know, right now she's young enough that she doesn't know that I'm gone really. You know, she knows because when she saw me, she, you know, she gave me a little attitude. She was turning her head. She wouldn't look at me, a little brat. But, you know, she knows, but like she can't ask questions yet. You know, she can't go to, to my mommy, where's dad? Or grandma, where's dad? Where's dad? And it's like, and then she grows up to be like, well, that time, you remember when I grew, like when I was a kid and you weren't there for me. And it's like, well, I don't, I don't ever want to feel that.